All right, y'all, so I'm still sitting here. Welcome back. Another video with Truck and IQ. We give you the unedited videos with the unedited truth. And in this one, our original truth turned out to be wrong. What are you gonna do? Except for correct yourself in another video. So, I just wanted to give an instructional video to make sure that you guys don't fall into the same pitfall that I may have felt fell into, maybe others fell into, um, or maybe just this particular device creates. So the number one thing I'm gonna say is if you purchase this next link, NL102P as in Peter by Nexus, if you, if you purchase this and the first time you go to do a forced regeneration, it says something to the effect of it's not supported, try, try, try again. It's not going to hurt the system if you keep trying. It's not going to mess something up if you keep trying. Um, but one big thing that I noticed is there's a screen right before you get to this particular screen that says, um, right now it's going through the regeneration as you can see. The, the, this finally came up. It's been going for around 20, 25 minutes now. In the beginning, the regeneration, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the regeneration um, icon was not up. That was not lit. But the longer that it went, um, it finally did come on. So it's, I guess, up to temperature and going through the actual regeneration now. But just before this screen, there's a screen that gives you stipulations of the conditions that the truck must be in before it can begin the process. Let's say that outside of the truck being on and the truck going zero miles per hour, let's say obviously because you're sitting doing a park regeneration that your, your transmission is already in neutral. You know, especially if you're driving a manual. I don't know if it's different. Sorry, my arm is getting tired. I don't know if it's different from a manual to an a, a automatic. I have a manual, this is a 10 speed Eaton. So this is what I had to do. While on that screen, though I was already in neutral, I put it in first gear, press the clutch obviously, put it in first gear, put it back in neutral. So basically I'm putting it in neutral while I'm on that screen. Also with the parking brake, I disengaged the park brake and then re-engaged the park brake while I was on that screen. And the PTO, my PTO, I actually, I realize now that though I had it here in the beginning, when it wasn't, when it kept saying not supported, that the function wasn't supported, I actually pushed it over and then pushed it back while I was on that screen that gave me the stipulations on the condition that the truck needs to be in for the regeneration to run. After I did those things and then pressed OK twice, it doesn't tell you that, but there's no like yes or no action. Do you want to continue or do you want to begin or something like that? You press OK once, does nothing. You press OK a second time and it will take you to the screen I just showed you. So. I am in a Freightliner Cascadia, I've said it before. It's a 2014 Detroit engine DD13. Um, I just showed you the transmission. Um, I think the model is a DC day cab, DC113. And that's what I had to do to get it going. I did a whole video already, you may have already seen it, about how it doesn't work. And the reason I'm, I, I want to do this video on try, try, try again is because I almost gave up. I almost gave up. I, I, I tried one more time thinking exactly what I just said. Like, let me just try all this stuff while it's on that screen. It doesn't make sense, but let me just do it anyway. Boom, it worked. So, the next link, NL102P, does do 
forced regeneration. It does, okay? It does. It may not do it on the first try, I don't know. I don't know what kind of engine you have, I don't know. But I'm telling you, it will do it. I am in regeneration, in the regeneration process right now. It's been going, the idle is up. Um, you know, it, the RPMs are up. We're looking good right now. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Don't give up on it. Um, hope this video was informative. Let me know if you have this one or a different one, what your circumstances were. Did you buy this one and then send it back after trying once or twice because you were like, it doesn't work? Because that would have been me. Or did you try, try again? Or did it work for you on the first time? Let me know. We all got to help each other. I think that's how we, you know, eventually get better at everything we do. Not, not one of us holds the keys. There's only one of us that holds all the keys. Hope y'all caught that. No, you know. All right, y'all. I'm out.